Sharks are often called the lions of the sea, and rightly so. They look menacing, can be immensely powerful, and can quickly turn a human into a tasty snack. However, shark attacks are actually very rare. They mostly aren't interested in humans. Of course, there have been plenty of brutal attacks, though. So join us as we count 10 of the most brutal shark attacks. Number 10. Dangerous diving. As you'll find out watching this video, diving for abalone is a risky activity. In 2004, two friends were doing just that off the coast of California when Randy Fry was massacred by a huge great white shark. His friend Cliff Zimmerman was above water and didn't realize what was happening. He just heard a loud whooshing sound and felt as if a boat flew past him. Zimmerman saw a fin and the blood-stained water, which was the point he realized he had to get out of there immediately. Fry's remains were discovered a day later. His head was completely removed from his torso and it's said that he died instantly from the attack. Number 9. Dangerous Diving Part 2 Terry Manuel was doing exactly the same thing as our previous victim on the list, only this was back in 1974 and in South Australia. He was just finishing up when a huge great white assaulted him at 25 miles per hour. It hit him so hard that he was thrown out of the water. Manuel's friend saw what was happening and rushed to pull him in with his air hose. He was able to grab Manuel's arms and tried to pull him up, but the shark wouldn't let go of Manuel's legs and ended up completely ripping it off. Manuel bled to death before he could get any medical attention. Number 8. Sinking Ship Looking at numbers alone, this may be the worst shark attack ever. Back in 1909, a French liner called La Seine collided with a ship called Onda. There was a dense fog off the coast of Singapore, making it impossible for the ships to see each other. La Seine had a lot of people aboard when it sank very quickly. There was not even enough time to get everyone onto the still floating Onda. Those who didn't make it aboard the Onda were quickly attacked and devoured by sharks. It's estimated that around 100 people lost their lives that day, including the captain who went down with his ship. Number 7. David Lilienfeld David Lilienfeld was a 20-year-old bodyboarder who was destined for great things and was already a champion. He was with his friends and family in the water when he was attacked by the infamous Great White Shark. His right leg was quickly ripped off. David's body washed up onto the rocks where his father and brother sat with him until the ambulance and police took his body away. Some blame National Geographic for his death. This is because they were filming their show Shark Men nearby and dumped a lot of chum into the water to attract sharks, and it looks like they succeeded. Number 6. Unhappy Honeymoon Ian and Gemma Redmond were just married and enjoying their honeymoon vacation. While Gemma was relaxing on the beach, Ian was snorkeling nearby. It seemed nothing could ruin their day when a shark suddenly attacked Ian while Gemma helplessly watched from the shore. The shark severed one of Ian's arms and tore off one of his legs. Ian must have died instantly from his injuries because he was quickly recovered, but by the time the doctor took a look at him, he had already died. Number 5 Elio Canestri. A more recent attack happening in April of 2015, 13-year-old surfing champion Elio Canestri was surfing with seven others reportedly in an area that was banned to swimmers because of the risk of shark attacks. The youngster was 50 feet out into the sea when the large shark struck from below, forcing him off his board. Witnesses described the shark biting into Elio's stomach, right arm and right leg. A boat was rushed out to his rescue, but sadly he did not survive the fatal attack. Number 4. Omar Conga Guess what Omar Conga and Chris Rem were diving for? Yup, abalone. They were off the coast of Santa Cruz when a 16-foot great white shark took Conga and shook him between its jaws with great force before pulling him below the water. Then the shark came back for seconds, going towards Chris at full speed with Omar still in its mouth. Just before the shark would reach Chris, it changed direction and let Omar go. Sadly, by the time Chris went to rescue Omar, he was already dead. Number 3. Family Vacation Disaster A French teenager was on a family vacation off the coast of Madagascar when they were snorkeling. The 15-year-old girl named Sarah was floating with her sister in the water when she was brutally attacked by a shark that literally sliced her body in half at the torso. Her sister witnessed the entire event and saw the shark drag a part of Sarah's body away with it. Sarah was the fifth person to be killed by sharks off the island in the past two years. Number 2. 
Marcia Hathaway On a sunny day back in 1963, Marcia Hathaway spent an afternoon with her fiancé, Frederick Knight, on the beach. They were in the waters of Sydney's Middle Harbour when tragedy struck. Just one day before, there had been 66 shark sightings reported in the area. It's unclear if they were aware of this, but if they were, it didn't stop them from going for a swim. Hathaway had only just gotten into the water when she was attacked by a ferocious shark that sunk its teeth deep into her right leg. Knight tried to fight it off and though he succeeded, it was too late. He got her to shore but Hathaway died in the hospital after losing too much blood. Number 1 Rodney Fox Finally, a shark attack that doesn't end tragically. Rodney Fox was a spearfishing champion and was set to defend his title in 1963. During the competition, a great white shark attacked him at his waist, tearing it to shreds. Miraculously, Rodney survived. He needed 462 stitches in his chest and 92 in his right hand and arm. Apparently, the wetsuit was the only thing that kept his internal organs from spilling out into the ocean. Very few people can say they've survived a great white attack, so the stars definitely aligned for Rodney Fox. Thanks for watching as always, let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you thought it was a pile of poop. See you next time.